Andrew. My name's Amy. I'm a student physical therapist. What brings you in today? Uh, I've been having some really bad lower back pain. Uh, I've been lifting a lot of weight at my new job, and it's really been bothering me. Okay, so um, how would you rate your pain on a scale of 0 to 10, 0 being no pain at all, and 10 being the worst pain you've ever felt? Uh, I'd say it's about a 5 out of 10. Okay, um, I'm going to have you stand up for a second, and let me get this real quick. And I'm going to have you bend forward and try to touch your toes. Also, can you turn this way and then just bend to your right side? Okay, I'm going to do the measurement for this. All right. And then to the other side. Okay. Um, also, is it okay if I lift your shirt up? Yes. Okay. I'm just going to have you bend forward one more time. I feel a lot of tightness in your back. So, um, is it okay if I take your blood pressure? Yes. Okay, sit back down. That's 120 over 80. Very good. And then I'm just going to take your pulse. Okay. And that is 72. So that's 72. I was thinking about using traction for you today on your lumbar spine, the lower part of your back. Have you ever had this before? Uh, actually, yes. I had it a couple times last year. Okay. I think it's going to help you um, stretch out your back and loosen up those muscles, and it should be like feel like just a nice relieving stretch. And before using the lumbar traction, I just want to ask you a few questions to make sure there isn't any reason I shouldn't do this on you. Um, have you ever been instructed by a doctor not to move that part of your back? Okay. And have you ever been diagnosed with loose joints or any structural disorders? And an example of a structural disorder would be like Marfan syndrome. Marfan diagnosed. Okay. And when did this injury occur? Uh, it occurred about two weeks ago. Okay. And um, I checked your back earlier and I didn't feel any vertebrae drop off, but have you had any recent back surgeries? And if we start to do the traction and your symptoms move to any other areas or worse than all, please let me know and we're going to stop immediately. And um, I took your blood pressure earlier and that was really good, but are you on any medication for high blood pressure? No, I'm not. Okay, so that's good. And just for your safety, I have a few more questions. Have you ever been diagnosed with RA or osteoporosis? No. And do you have any long-term steroid use in your past medical history? And do you have cancer or any history of cancer? Okay. Have you recently um, dealt with any like bowel or bladder incontinence? Okay. Are you claustrophobic? Okay, that should, that should work for you then so far. Are you able to lie on your back or your stomach? Or? Yes, yes. Okay. And do you know if you have a hernia? Well, when we use this traction machine right here, it's going to help stretch out your joints. And the spine has vertebrae that are stacked on top of each other. And the traction just helps to separate each vertebrae from um, each other in your lower back. And if you had a bulging disc, it would help to bring that disc back into place. And, but most importantly in your case, it's going to help stretch out those tight muscles and help to relax them. And, um, how much do you weigh? Uh, 
180 pounds. Okay. All right, I'm going to use 25% of your body weight to um, help relax your muscles, which is about 45 pounds, and it's just gonna pull for five seconds and relax for five seconds. And we'll do it for about 20 minutes, is that okay? Sounds great. And um, I'll check on you after five minutes to make sure you're doing okay. And I'm gonna give you a bell, just in case you experience any discomfort. And I'll also give you an emergency shut off, so you can shut it off yourself. Right. And there are a few unfavorable effects that you could experience, such as your pain or symptoms might move to other areas, or um, new symptoms could occur. You could feel weakness or numbness and tingling. And this is why I'll be tr um, checking on you during your... Is it okay if I just have you stand up? We're gonna put the belt on, but I'm gonna have you turn around so I can check your skin one more time. All right, it looks good, there's no wounds, and it's just pretty tight, like I said earlier. I'm gonna feel a part of your back and just let me know which part I'm feeling. Right. Um, okay. Your sensation seems pretty good, so I'm going to put these belts on you. This one goes around your pelvis, and they might not be really tight now, but I'll make sure to tighten them up when we get on the table also. That one's just supposed to go around your ribs. I'm going to make sure to straighten the back. Okay. That looks good. I'll just have you come over here and lay on the table with your head facing this way. Okay, so since you said you weighed 180 pounds, I'm going to set it at 45, which is 25% of your body weight. That's going to be the maximum it pulls. And I'm going to set the minimum for about half of that. And then since we're trying to relax your muscles, I'm going to set it for 5 seconds hold time and 5 seconds rest. And I'm going to give you this patient shut off. So if you feel uncomfortable at any time or you're in pain, please pull that. It will turn the machine off. And I'll also give you this bell so that if you need to call me at any time, I'll be around here and I'll come back. I'll set it for 20 minutes, but I'm going to come back in five minutes and check on you. Okay. All right. I'm going to unlock the table, have it so it can spread. It's going to do it a few times. How does that feel? It's fine. Do you feel like it's too much? Nope. Okay. All right. I'll be back in five minutes to check on you. It's been five minutes. How are you feeling? Feeling fine. Okay. Is the pain moving anywhere else? Nope. All right. Your belts look like they're tight enough. They're not coming off, so that's good. I'll come back in 15 more minutes and you should be finished. But ring that bell if you need anything. Right. Okay. It's been 20 minutes. How do you feel? Okay. I'll take this for you and you can just it off of it. And if you can lift your legs up for a second. Okay, I'm just going to unhook this. Okay, now 
we're going to sit up slowly. How do you feel? Okay. I'm just going to have you stand up for a second if you feel okay. And then I'm going to look at your skin, make sure everything's okay. All right, if you want to turn for a second. Looks good. Okay, and I just want to do a few measurements to see if your range of motion got any better. Can you bend over and touch your toes? Okay. That's much better. And then stand up and bend to your left side. Okay, gain about 10 degrees there and now to your right side. Okay, that's much better. And on a scale of 0 to 10, how would you rate your height again? I'd say it's a 2 now. Okay, that got much better. Here is um, some stretches to do while you're at home, and next time I'll teach you how to do some manual stretches. <laughs>